All right, so we're heading out this morning. It's about nine o'clock, headed to Bahamas. Just untied the dock. Got uh, Peanut Island on the right. And we're gonna be leaving the mouth uh, out to the ocean very soon. ReviewOutlaw.com. New videos every Thursday at 3 p.m. Subscribe today. This is in international water, which is uh, 25 miles away from the United States. So we can't see land on either side. We are now officially in international waters. And we're uh, past that halfway point. Okay guys, so I've arrived at the West End in Bahamas. Um, there's not much going on in this place. Um, it's pretty far away from everything, um, but it is a nice little resort. You can get some drinks, walk down the beach. Um, there are no SIM cards <laughs> here at all. In fact, Mosa Island is really hard to find any SIM cards. So I'm going to put a link in the show notes to where you can get some SIM cards so you can have uh, cell phone coverage. The Wi-Fi is pretty weak as well. You saw some cool tiger sharks though. Um, in the marina, so definitely don't want to swim in or around the marina. A lot of fishermen drop some fish in, and so you can get chewed up pretty quick. So anywhere they're fishing, there's a marina, definitely don't go swimming. There are a lot of sharks um, in Bahamas, but I didn't see any just out in the water. It seems to be around where people are. So um, we headed away from the West End and wanted to get over the Abacos as soon as we could. There's a big stretch, we pretty much went four or five hours without seeing anything, it was just open water. Really, really clear, clear water, so it's deceiving how um, clear it is. It almost feels like you can hit the bottom. Green Turtle Cay was the first place we stopped. We rented a go-kart and did some kite surfing at one of the beaches. Um, really, really nice island. A um, uh, great place to, to, to stop in and take a look. They get some nice food. You can just check out the whole island by cart. This is a cool restaurant, all money on the walls. Um, really recommend you check this place out. So another thing I would recommend doing is stocking up on iced coffee. Could not find iced coffee anywhere. In fact, most of the markets didn't have very much food. I was pretty smart and a lot of pre-preservative um, food, things like that, but nothing. Uh, a little bit of fruit, but it was really hard to find like chicken or anything like that. Um, get a lot of water, a lot of uh, drinking water. Um, another thing we didn't think about was the pump out. So in America, there's a lot of laws about um, you can't pump out or you know into the ocean uh, your wastewater. And in Bahamas, it's the flip side. You you can't find any actual places to pump out um, your wastewater. They want you to just pump it right into the ocean. Unfortunately, this boat doesn't have an option for that uh, built in. So we had to really, really, really look for some place that would um, uh, pump us out. And we found a place in Marsh Harbor. And the next place we stopped in was um, Great Guana K, and we stopped in at Nippers Beach Bar. Um, cool place to kite surf. Actually, you set up my kite surfer at the front here, and they get a little place to rinse off, a hose off. It's um, this is kind of cold weather, so not too many people at here at this time. But I'm sure in the summertime, springtime, it gets uh, pretty full up here with people. There's a little pool area and stuff like that. Um, some big waves to jump. So this was a cool spot. Just definitely watch out for the rocks uh, in the front area over there. Another thing to be aware of is water to actually go into your boat costs a lot. They meter the water in Bahamas, um, so it's not like in America where you just get you know free water here. It's actually metered, so that can cost some days more than electricity. So something to be aware of. Um, in some places, you don't have the option for it. Piggy Island was a cool place um, that we stopped in. They had um, just wild pigs here, and you can feed them different bananas and things like that. Um, they come in the water, very friendly. And they are protected by the Bahamas government, which is good. A lot of tourists come by here and feed it. It's kind of a cool place to take pictures and stuff like that. So we anchored a boat out and took the dinghy in and um, kind of had fun with these pigs. Another thing to be aware of is if you have a 34 foot or smaller boat, that's kind of that perfect size. It's less money for customs to stay in the Bahamas. Um, it's actually half the price. Anything 35 feet and above, it gets much more pricey. So it's like between $300 to $150. Uh, depending on the size of your boat 
and uh, the, like the fishing licenses and stuff like that. Dockage was interesting. So the dockage at different islands, which was much more like Hope Island, much more expensive for dockage than like Marsh Harbor. So depending what island you were at, the price jumped pretty dramatically. Um, so that's something to be aware of. You know, Dakwa and things like that weren't always available. But what I did like about the Bahamas, you could pretty much go to any island. There's always spaces available at the time of year we went, which was like January time. So it was not super full. Like if in January time you go in Florida, you can barely find a spot. You really have to kind of call ahead and make reservations. My next stop is the Luther Islands. That'll be in the next video. Make sure you click on that. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have time, please give me a thumbs up, share the video on Facebook or social media, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get a notification when new videos come out. Finally, you leave me a comment, I love those. Really appreciate it, have a great day guys.